In the 19th century, Netherlands cryptographer Auguste Kirchhoff created Kirchhoff's principle, stating that a crypto system should be secure even if everything about the system except the key is public knowledge. The most crucial element in chip security is the root key or hardware unique key. The key is the starting point not only for protecting each chip, but also the chain of trust that encompasses the entire system and associated services. Therefore, key generation, along with its storage and usage, must be well thought out from the beginning of the design. With the invention of physical and clonable functions, which can act as a chip fingerprint, we can now create a unique, inborn, unclonable key at the hardware level. But how do we protect this key? We know that security is only as strong as its weakest link. And in most cases, the weakest link is insecure key storage and eFuse. The reason is, with eFuse, the key is programmed into OTP memory by blowing a portion of metal or poly, which leaves a visible trace. In contrast, the anti-fuse OTP is programmed based on the quantum tunneling mechanism, which creates a conductive path without a visible trace on the surface. Using eFuse is like storing the key to your secrets in an unprotected drawer, a surefire way to break the secure boundary and create vulnerabilities. Speaking of chip security, ARM Core with CryptoCell 312 is one of the most common design combinations found today. Typically, ARM CC312 is used with eFuse or anti-fuse without additional protections for key injection and storage. Therefore, the key remains outside the boundary, creating a potential breach point for attackers. While the data visibility problem in eFuse can be easily solved by using anti-fuse OTP, it is still insufficient when it comes to security. Access privilege control must also be considered in the OTP controller design to enable identity differentiation and grant access to secret data for authorized users only. Combining Puff with anti-fuse OTP, a controller with access privilege, and an anti-tampered shell establishes a secure hardware root of trust, countering all the vulnerabilities mentioned before. To accommodate CC3112 and other ARM users, Puff Security developed a customized IP solution for ARM users called Dual APB PuffRT. PuffRT builds upon eMemory's anti-fuse OTP and quantum tunneling Puff technologies. The inborn hardware unique key utilizes the NeoPuff's guaranteed randomness to obtain the unique key per device, avoiding the need for a provisioning process, and also using Puff's inborn secret to protect the anti-fuse OTP. Our true random number generator has both digital and analog designs, combining static and dynamic entropy sources for its superb performance. PuffRT also obfuscates data and addresses and adds various security protection designs with physical or digital comprehensive tamper-proof features in an anti-tamper shell to fully protect the secret key. PuffRT is also equipped with a controller of permission control and two APB interfaces. Here is a use case of the hardware root of trust IP, PuffRT, integrated with ARM Core and CC312. APB1 connects PuffRT to the main bus and enables OTP testing with JTAG, which would be disabled after testing, so the secure boundary remains intact. And APB2 fully integrates PuffRT into CC312 to provide secure storage and entropy source for the crypto functions in CC312. When it comes to chip security, designers often turn to crypto subsystem solutions like ARM CryptoCell 312. The remained obstacle, however, is how to generate and safely store the root key for the system. The dual APB PuffRT is the exact missing piece for the puzzle. By integrating PuffRT, crypto subsystem, in the computation core can realize the security root of trust secure storage, and security systems before being brought to the market. And such a use case applies to multiple sectors from AIoT to high-performance computing and beyond. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.